I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, here we go. So, um, viewer uh, Double Libra asked the question, will the kids uh, be made to pay for their crimes? And so um, I did uh, Donnie Jr., I did uh, Ivanka, and now this is the last kid uh, that would be involved in this. This is Eric. And so his name is actually Eric Frederick, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Eric Frederick Trump. He's born on January 6, 1984, same date as someone who's very important to me, as a matter of fact. And he's a Capricorn and um, he's 37 years old. So these are not kids. These are adults who've been criming their entire adult life and probably even before that. So, I mean, it, it's not fair. They were brought up as criminals, but at some point, you know that you're doing a criminal thing and you have to stop or you have to be accountable for it. And that's where we are right now. So yeah, 37 year old, uh, Eric Frederick Trump. Let's see what the cards say for him. Okay, so this is Eric Trump. Eric Trump, 37-year-old Capricorn, born January 6, 1984. I thought I'd use the classic tarot for him. This is a, uh, Llewellyn is the uh, publisher. Uh, Barbara Moore uh, is the book writer, maybe the uh, idea, and then Eugene Smith is the artist. Uh, so these are great cards. They're very easy to read right along the Rider weight system because I didn't want to have any kind of weird uh, problem with this. Now, what am I going to do with this box? I think I'll put it like that. That way everybody can see it. Hopefully. Let me look at the camera. That's pretty good. How's that? And the cards are very colorful, easy to read. They go right to the edge of the of the card, which I like a lot because, you know, it's a lot of wasted space otherwise. Sometimes, though, the border can work into the interpretation not all the time, not very often really. But uh, so these are the cards uh, Barbara Moore's interpretation, Eugene Smith's art, Llewellyn take on the Rider Waite system. So there we go. And from what I understand, Llewellyn had the idea that these cards should be uh, clearer with less clutter that they felt he felt, uh, I guess it's a he, uh, was in the typical uh, Rider Waite card with Pamela Coleman Smith's art. So th these cards are simpler uh, in, that, in that regard but easy to read. So, Eric Frederick Trump, 37-year-old Eric Frederick Trump. Just had a spam call, so that's never fun. Forgot where I was in this. Okay. Eric Frederick Trump, 37, I want to say. Yeah, 37 years old. Eric, 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 are you going to be held accountable? So let's try to tap into that same energy that's worked so well so far for Donnie and uh, Donnie and Marie, because <laughs> her middle name is Marie. <laughs> that's funny, Donnie and Marie. Donnie and Ivanka, Marie. Um, Eric Frederick. I wonder if he used to tease them about being Donnie and Marie. That'd be interesting to know, a little bit of uh, personal. So Eric Frederick Trump, EFT, 37 years old. Are you going to pay for your sins? <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to take six cards right away for Eric. This will be one, two, three. You know, his wife, Eric's wife, Lara Trump, is really the one that kind of makes a lot of deals uh, for that family. I know that she had offered Omarosa a job in the Trump re-election campaign. I think she's the one that got the job for Sean Spicer. You know, I'm pretty sure he's on the payroll of the Trump, Trump re-election campaign, or was, uh, if he wasn't, isn't now. So she would be like the one who would make the offer of money to these people. It's three, four, five, six. So, so Eric and, and his wife, Laura, are like a two for, two for one. For the uh, criminal criminal investigators. So here we go. We're going to say the question is not Eric though. The question is, is Eric going to be accountable for his crimes? Will Eric be held accountable for his crimes? And hopefully, we'll get to know when. 
the signifier card for that question, will, will Eric be held accountable for his crimes, is, ooh, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is, is being left out in the cold. Wow. I wonder if everybody's going to turn on him. Or could it be that he turns first and, uh, and that's what gets him the cold shoulder? I don't know. It's not a great card to be a signifier. The question is, is he going to be held accountable? And the answer is left out in the cold. Left out in the cold. And that's not a good thing. You might want to say left out of being accountable. But no, I think he's left out of protection. He's not protected. He's not in the warmth of, of what's inside here. He's left out in the cold. The signifier for that then is the Six of Swords. Well, the Six of Swords is uh, moving out of troubled water, just to be very uh, uh, literate with the interpretations. And uh, so the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. We've got a fella uh, uh, pushing off with, you would assume that's his wife and child. Uh, huh. So he may, there's Six of Swords here. I wonder if he's going to be able to reduce uh, his penalty um, from these six truths. Hmm. Uh, the basis of this reading for will Eric Trump be left out in the cold? <laughs> no, sorry. Will Eric Trump be held accountable for his uh, crimes? Is the page of pentacles. And this is someone, this is someone spilling the beans. That's what this is. And this is Eric spilling the beans. Yeah, this is Eric bringing what value he has. This is, hey, this is what I got. I was, I was the least important of us three, but this is what I got. The past for this reading of will Eric uh, pay for his crimes uh, is the Four of Cups. And oh, man, this is for me, this is always being offered something that you just don't want. You know, this is the one thing that uh, that you're saying, oh, man, I don't want to do that. or I don't want to take that or I don't want to have this problem. So in the past, it's uh, it's that. In the sky of this reading, then, for will Eric uh, be uh, accountable for his crimes, is the Queen of Cups. And, uh, you know, the Queen of Cups can show some compassion. So I wonder if, if these aren't prosecutors saying, look, you know, we got this great, big, huge chalice of compassion. You're kind of far down the ladder. And if we know what you know, we can offer you a nice big gulp out of this, this chalice of, of compassion. That's what I see. In the um, uh, likely outcome for this first part, uh, where the question is, will Eric pay for his crimes? Uh, it's the Five of Cups. Man, it's disappointment. And you can see the tower is way off in the distance. You've come a long way from the tower, buddy. You're, way, you're from Trump Tower. You're a long way from there. You've traveled down this river of tears, I'm going to say, and you spilled almost everything you have, and you, but you still got a little bit left. So, yeah, I think he's going to pay for his crimes. I do. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take uh, four more cards out of here to finish this uh, Celtic cross. And I'm drawn to this end over here, so that's where I'll start. And so this is the self. This is the self of the question, will he pay for his crimes? And it's the Queen of Swords. And I would say, yep, yep, yep. We, we are the Queen of, of Truth and Justice. The Queen of Truth and Justice has claimed her spot. She says, here I am. I'm showing up just to prove to you that, yeah, everybody's going to get theirs. Uh, but she's in the environment of what? This Queen of Swords is, what is her environment? The Queen of Swords is in the environment of, and remember, this is the this is the justice here. That's who this is. Justice is in the environment of the Emperor. The Emperor, for me, is not the false Emperor that, that so many have been worshipping all those years. The Emperor, emperor for me, is, 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 is the government, is justice. So the Queen of Swords uh, has no, the, the Emperor's enforcer has no choice but to do the Emperor's enforcing. Uh, the um, hopes and the fears for this then is going to be, and this is regarding justice here, hopes and fears for justice is going to be, ah, the Two of Cups, and that's partnerships, making deals. Listen, I'll do this, and let's shake on it, and, uh, and uh, we've sworn an oath, and uh, this is where we're at. So yeah, he's gonna make a deal. He's gonna make a deal to to get to talk and and get something better than what he had, and then he'd be able to move out of troubled waters. Uh, but the the final outcome of this question uh, then is, uh, and remember, we're asking the question on the side of justice here: Will Eric uh, Frederick Trump be made to pay for his uh, crimes? Thirty-seven year old, uh, two of wands. Yeah, they've got some plans. They're thinking of some stuff. 
They're making some plans, short-term plans right now. He's at least, you know, until he turns and gives us a lot of information. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the works. It's in the works. But remember now, we're still going to talk about the numerology of this thing. And we're going to look and see with these numerology cards if um, we can get some timing in here. So these are the numerology cards. I'm using them primarily for the numbers to determine how many months or years until this happens to uh, Eric Frederick Trump. So we're going to shuffle these up a little bit. Let's shuffle them this way and see what comes out. We talk about so when will Eric Trump begin to pay for his crimes? When will Eric Trump begin to pay for his crimes? And does that mean when will he start to be prosecuted? Does that mean when he will start prison time? Uh, what does it mean for Eric Trump? When will he begin to pay for his crimes? I feel like these cards are there already. Uh, when will he be, begin to pay for his crimes? Take one right off the top, put these other ones right here. And uh, so we're going to see, this is numerology, so we get a, a large number, two-digit number. We're going to reduce it down to a single number to try to determine how many months or years uh, before uh, Eric Trump pays for his crime. Uh, typically, what's written on these cards isn't going to be uh, relatable to us. And so this is the 22. 2 plus 2 is 4. Wow. Four years seems too far off. Four months? Seems like something that could work into this. And it, you notice I'm saying seems like using my intuition. So I would say in four months, he's going to start to cooperate with all of this. That's what's going to happen here in four months. You know, if this stuff comes true, I'm going to be as shocked as any one of you. So they're just cards. And I'm just telling you what they said. You know, what does it say at the beginning of my videos? Entertainment only, you know. I'm just a retired guy in Seattle who reads tarot cards. But so the, this whole thing started with um, Eric being left out in the cold, you know, left out in the cold. Um, the, the challenge to it was moving out of troubled water. So I wonder if that's where he begins to save his family in four months. And then um, uh, being made an offer that he doesn't necessarily want. Uh, the Queen of Swords showed up as as the government and uh, challenged by the uh, president, I guess, wanting things to get done. And then the hopes and the fears for all of that was the two the two of cups, which are partnerships, sworn under an oath, okay, you know, cooperating. And uh, the planning, it looks like, has already begun. The planning has begun. And uh, if we reduce this down, two plus two is four, four months. That's what my intuition says. What does yours tell you? So... Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.